21 Octobers ago, the Minnesota Twins played a win or go home game five against the Moneyball A's in sunny Oakland. Pre big poppy, David Ortiz lined the ninth RBI double to give the Twins a 5 1 lead. Then they released him two months later. The Twins, they would hold on to a 5 4 victory and advance to the 2002 ALCS as a result of the big hit from Big Poppy. That was the last postseason series victory for the Minnesota Twins, something that would change with a win Wednesday in Game 2 against the Blue Jays. Taking care of business in Game 1, looking for the sweep, and there's the big hero in Game 1, Royce Lewis. Bottom three, Jose Barrios had the strikeout pitch working against his former squad. Five strikeouts through three innings for Jose Barrios. Fourth inning. No score. And Barrios facing Royce Lewis, who we showed you to begin the highlight. That's low and away. That's a ball. Eighth pitch of the A.B. John Schneider. Jose all done. Three innings. Three hits. 5Ks, just 47 pitches. You say Kikuchi in the game now after an infield single and a walk. Carlos Correa. Bases loaded, no outs. Just gets enough of that one down by the trademark. One run scores. 60th career playoff RBI for Correa. Wow. Twins would add on another. They lead 2 0 after four, going for the sweep. Top of the fifth. Bo Bichette, second and third, two outs. Sonny Gray, oh my goodness. Bless his heart, he must be the sickest man in Canada. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. picked off at second. Blue Jays challenged, hoping for a prayer to be answered. It wasn't. They failed to score with runners in scoring position. Matt Chapman in the sixth. Bases loaded, six, four, Three by a half step. Once again, the Blue Jays, three for 14 with runners in scoring position in the series. Top of the ninth. Johan Duran in to close it out. Training staff would come out to look at his finger. Hmm, this is a concern. But Duran would stay in and look just fine. Alejandro Kirk. Nope, that was nasty. Chapman again. Oh my goodness, look at the movement. Let's, let's just throw one straight at 101. Go <laughs> oh, that ride, that road. Nothing stays straight with this beast. That's impressive. And the Twins, first series win since 2002. Got the first win period in game one, and then the first series win. They're moving on to play the Astros. Like everything you imagine that it, that it feels like. It's. Uh... It's elation. You're, I feed off of the, all the energy of all of our guys because our guys bring it every day on the field and they can celebrate too. And uh, that feeling, watching them, watching them go at it, I mean, it's, 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 one of the, it's one of the best feelings in the world because we work our whole lives to get to moments like this just to have a chance. And uh, we took advantage of our, of our chance. So once again, the last. The Twins clinched a series at home. Game seven, the famous Jack Morris game, 1991 against John Smoltz. Pitcher's duel extraordinaire. One of the best World Series we've seen. Look at that, no score. Larkin gets the big hit in the bottom of the 10th. Here comes Dan Gladden. And the Twins win game seven of the World Series at home. Jack Morris, legendary performance as they beat the Braves.